Think about him being hot this morning. Well, he's dressed in black. <laughs> Who dresses in black in the summertime, huh? Hey, I. <laughs> <laughs> shouting about well i've left my sins at calvary covered by the blood and i'm filled with the holy ghost and cradled in god's love well i'm going on to my jesus just the same well i'm going on to my jesus just the same you may false accuse me scandalize my name but i'm going on to my jesus just the same some people may laugh, talk about me when I shout. There's one thing for sure, well I know what I'm shouting about. Well I've left my sins at Calvary, covered by the blood. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost and cradled in God's love. Well I'm going on to my Jesus just the same. Okay. I'm gonna kill no time, huh? Okay. <laughs> I 
I've kind of missed you telling me what to sing. <laughs> My God is real. and I sat down and I got to thinking what a privilege it is to be able to sing and play with these guys here. You know, so sometimes we don't, we just take for granted. And we're the magnificent seven. So, and I'm so thankful that I get to play with you guys. You know, from where I come from, we had a good band too, but we got a good one here. You know, we ain't perfect. I'm done. 
Here's what I want you to do. And if you're willing to participate, and if not, that's okay too. But I know you got a piece of paper in your Bible or in the pew. If you don't, we can get some paper, okay? Everybody got a piece of paper? You got a pen? Here's what I want you to do. <clears throat> I want you, hopefully and prayerfully, most of you are saved, okay? If you're not, you need to be, okay? And, but if you're saved... What would you like to see God do? I want you to write it down. don't want you to put your name on it. Okay? All right? I just want you to write it down, fold it up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass this basket around. Uh, okay? And then I want you to put it in the basket, and then we'll read them. Okay? You hear me? You act like you don't hear me. Okay? What? Now you think about it. Think about this. What are something you'd like to see God do? Okay? You're saved. You know you're on your way to heaven. Okay? But you're living right now. What would you like to see done? Okay? You think it over. They go play. You think it over. And then you just write it down, fold it up, put it in here, and I'm going to read it. Okay? One thing, because there's a bunch of us. Okay? You mean you got more than one? <laughs> you got more than one? <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but now think, you think about it, okay? Something you like to see happen. So. It could be in your church. Could be in your church, sure. Could be. All right. Golly, Paul, you got one already? All right, you think about it. You guys go in and play something, okay? And then I'll pass this around, and uh, we'll go from there, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, go ahead. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me In all my days I've been held in your hands From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head Oh, I will sing Of the goodness of God In all my life been faithful and all my life you have been oh so good with every breath that I am able oh I will sing of the goodness of God I love your voice
Now, here's, here's something else I want to invite you to do tonight. What's one of your stories that stands out in the Bible? One of the stories. You ain't got to write it down, but I want, you might want to share it. I'll, I'll share you one of mine. Mine is was when they, they come to take Jesus, and uh, the soldier grabbed Jesus, and Peter took his sword out, and he cut off Malchus, his ear. And Jesus reached up and healed his ear. And what was so touching to me about that was I would want vengeance had I would been in his position. And why would Jesus go out of his way when they're taking him to the cross that he even cared enough to heal this man's ear? He went out of his way to heal the man that was going to take him, okay? He healed this man's ear. And I just couldn't that that's the grace of Jesus and I, I it made me think of me put in that position okay when I'd done something wrong to Jesus yet he still wanted me as as his child and I just can't believe that and that that, that was touching to me and that that's a passage in the scripture stands out always has that I read when I first got saved I read that and I just wow it magnified it magnified me I just I love that passage of scripture. Makes makes him think of me. Yeah. You know, so you chew on that a little bit. Look at that. I hope I don't mess you up too much because you broke something down. Now you gotta think of a story. But it'll get you it'll get you focused. It'll get you in tune, if you will. Uh you know, we are in church. it's a church setting with God's people, amen. And you shouldn't be intimidated by it, but you ought to have a story. If you've been in church long enough, You've been in Sunday school long enough. You've been church affiliated. You ought to have some story out of the Bible mm -hmm. that touched your heart, okay? So it, I'm not asking you to stand up and read it. Just paraphrase it. Something that that touched your heart. Some, something that happened in Scripture, okay? You got another song? You okay? Oh, Judy's getting ready back there while I go and see Zandel. Do you know Zandel was here, Kevin? Do you? Okay, I'm half blind. I'm glad to see Jan Zandel and his family here. Praise God. Amen. Yeah, last time I seen them, she was just a little baby, baby girl. girl. Yeah. She growed up. He <laughs> fed her. She growed up. Glory to God. Amen. Pretty young lady. Amen. you playing in you or do we play with you? Okay. Well you're doing that, I'll pick up some of these. The devil laughed and said, I've won. God has lost his only son. The brightest star no longer shines. Finally, this world is mine. Then he gathered all his demons near. He said, we'll have conquered love with fear. Meanwhile, back at the cross, all is not lost. Forgiveness is bought with each drop of his blood. 
that falls to the ground. Mercy abounds as Mother Mary's tears fall down to see her precious son pay the cost. The devil said, we'll use their pride We'll attack them from inside Fill their hearts with vanity Till their differences are all they see Black and white, rich and poor To justify their holy Forgiveness is bought with each drop of his blood that falls to the ground. Mercy abounds as Mother Mary's tears fall down to see her precious son pay the cost. Let me sing that second verse to you again. And the devil said we'll use their pride and we'll attack them from inside fill their hearts with vanity till their differences are all they see black and white rich and poor to justify their holy Forgiveness is bought with each drop of his blood that falls to the ground. Mercy abounds as Mother Mary's tears fall down to see her precious son pay the cost. Take a look around, turn on says no way in hell am I gonna lose hate is everywhere and love cannot be found it took me 2,000 years but it's almost over now Forgiveness is bought with each drop of his blood that falls to the ground. And mercy abounds as Mother Mary's tears fall down to see her precious son pay the cost at the cross. Thank you. Woo. All right. Okay, here. Does anyone have a story, a Bible story that I was asking about? Anybody? You got one? What is that? Yeah. That's right. Amen. That's right. Good story. Yeah. 
All right. Anyone else? Yes, Don. her stroke. Bring my children back to church. America to get back to God. What would you like to see God do? Bring America back to Him as founding fathers established a godly nation. to see a great revival break out across over the land with many being saved for the kingdom of God. All persons come to know Jesus as their Savior, as Him as Savior. Save the U.S., all of us bring, bring peace to the world. A worldwide revival. And actually that that's uh, something that I had would have written down would be revival, to bring revival. I would like to see God rid the world of the sickness and the suffering. Save my family from sin. Don't want to miss heaven. I don't want to miss heaven. Boy, man, amen. For all my children and family to be saved and in church. Save all my children and my brother. Would like to see our kids come to the Lord. Gosh, I, I get overwhelmed just reading it. Save my daughter and son. Save all my family. Loved ones saved. Nation turned back to God. I would like to see the world turn to God instead of evil and to put their trust in Him. Quit worrying. That all my friends and family are saved and go to heaven. I would like to see God perform a miracle in Doogie Fox's life. To give us the expectation that in every service God will move into such a mighty way that we would worship you, that the Holy Spirit would be so strong that people would turn their lives over to Jesus. I would like to see my children serve Christ with their children. Reform the minds of the people in our government to do the right and biblical moral things.
for my brother and his family to come to Christ. Feel his presence and draw closer. Wow. Okay, I'm going to read this one. Bring this nation back to God. Gosh, I can't quit stop. I pray that God restores my child, saves and heals their brokenness. For our country to come back to God and have my children in church. You heard how many times that's been written? see uh, is it Jerry healed and to be back who's this I don't know I, I really can't read the writing on this one to see someone healed and to be baptized for peace huh who was that one okay. let not your heart be troubled then said if it is not so he would have told us so who okay Restore parent-child relationship. Marriage restored. Loved ones come to church. Doogee healed. Sandy Stearns healed. I pray God would destroy every cancer cell, sickness, and disease that the devil is bringing against Dale. I pray for a long, healthy life for him. May God rapture us out together. All right, who's got another story for I read on? Who's got another God story? Story out of the Bible. Anybody? The thing with Noah, the, how much faith that he had to listen to God when God commanded him to build an ark that people laughing at him, uh, mocking him, ridiculing him, but he kept the faith and done what God ordered him to do. Amen. Amen. Very good story. That's right. Here's another one. Help me uh, read the Bible and memory and hide it in my heart and memorize it and hide it in my heart. My uncle to get saved. I had a nephew who used to pray that and he got him saved too. Doogee Fox healed. On earth. Had to put that specific, huh? I would like to see my whole family saved and not just claiming it, but living it. Like for everyone to see a uh, miracle that they can't deny come from the hand of God, have no doubt He is in control of all. Even the unbelievers can't deny. All right. My grandson saved. For people to have faith. Want to keep in touch in prayer group. And I don't know what the last part of that said, but keep in touch in the prayer group. Save my family. Who's got another story? I would like to see my co-workers come to know Christ. Who's got a story? Loved ones to be saved. Okay, what is it, bud? Judges, uh, I think chapter 6, about Gideon. Yeah. And uh, when God first uh, showed up to Gideon, well, they had turned from God like they always did, and uh, they were in a mess. Enemy had come in. And uh, God could deliver him through Gideon, but when he showed up to him, he called him the mighty man of Valor. And uh, he seen Gideon, actually Gideon tried to argue with him that he wasn't no good, you know. Uh -huh. But God seen him at his full potential Amen. and as a warrior. Amen. And uh, a lot of times I see myself as no good or what can I do? 
but he accepted it. And Amen. God sees us at, at that. And Amen. For that. That's a good story. Yeah, it's kind of fascinating what they was able to do. Yeah, and the way he picked them men out. Right? Huh? Exactly. Friends and loved ones saved and to see the urgency of the hour we live in. Who else got a story? Anyone else? To see our one saved, our nation to turn back to God. Anybody else got one? I always go back to Abraham and Isaac when he took Isaac up from the mount and just that one verse always stands out to me how he told the, I believe it was guards or whoever was with him that they would be back. He didn't have any doubt in his mind that God would provide him the desires of his heart and that Amen. just always really stood out to me. Yeah, especially your own son. Yeah. Jehovah Jireh, God is the provider, mm -hmm. and God provided the, the ram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Bring the whole world back to God the way it was, the way it was. You guys, you're something, I'll tell you. You are something. You never know what kind of curveball you'll get thrown around here, I'll tell you. Uh, I got to read it. Help the president ask Trump for help. Gosh. <laughs> 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 Move in the lives of those with the hardest hearts, biggest mouth, so they cannot deny him or be silent about him. Amen. To touch every soul and everybody to love Jesus with all their heart, fix this evil world. Who else has got a story? Make me a stronger Christian also get the world back to God. Who's got, who, who's got one? Revival to come back to our church. Bring peace in my family. To keep answering prayers for lost souls, cure cancer and all illnesses, keep our church growing in size and families. I would like God to restore my kids' desire to come to church and realize how important the, the Word of God is in their lives. I want to see my whole family happy and healthy. Bring my son back to church. I want to see more people come to the saving grace of the Almighty God. My son back to church, our family saved. Cure for cancer. Cure for Alzheimer's. To be a better witness to my coworkers, I don't feel bold enough. Who's got a story? Anyone got a story? Hmm? No one else? Yeah. Okay. How come? It's never too late. Amen. Amen. Did you hear him, the thief on the cross? Never too late. Who else? Anyone else have one? Yes. I like uh, Mark chapter 4 and 5 where he's talking about he healed the blind and he healed the lepers. He's um, the guy that was cutting himself with stones, the mentally ill. He healed him. And then Jarius' girl, little 12-year-old, was dead. 
and everyone was crying and making it a do. He said, why are you making it a do? And they laughed at him and he said, she was asleep. And he went up and told her to arrive. She got up. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> yes. Anyone else? part of the legion. So there was about over 600 people that came to that group to get him. And he came out and said, whom seek ye? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. And said, I am he. And they all fell down on the ground. Amen. Huh? Amen. Fire of Jesus. Amen. That's right. Yes. Anyone else? Amen. That's right. Yes. Anyone else? Okay. So, we just throw these away. Huh? You want them back? Now you're talking. Now you're talking. Amen. How many believes that this could come to pass? Amen. Amen. Well, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to lay it on the altar. And we're going to circle it. Okay? And you wrote it. So you pray over it. Pray that it comes to pass fruitation. Amen? We agree together because we know God through Scripture can do the impossible. Amen? And so if you'll come and agree with me, if you guys will set it here, we'll all gather around it. If you'll come and circle around, make a circle, however however far we get, we, we just circle around this. Amen? You can come up here, whoever need would like to come up and just circle around it. Yep. Amen. Go to the altar. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> hey, however you feel leg, go for it. That's all I can say. We'll just pray over this. Amen. All right. Glory to God. Just go ahead and pray in your own way. And just let God be God of this that was written down and put in the basket. You know, we just give it to God tonight. Oh, when I see the sun rising, the morning.
as she closed her eyes to sleep. And I felt the power of ten thousand angels take her soul away to be crowned at Jesus. Maybe you've been baptized before and you'd like to fall through with baptism again. It's okay. It's all right to do. It's not sinful to be rebaptized, <laughs> you know, uh, for us Baptists. You know, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you, you know, cover them prayers tonight. Don't take lightly what we put in the basket because our God's not dead. He's still on the throne. And he's still saving souls. And he's still baptizing people. Glory to God. And he does still heal. And so don't cut him short tonight. Amen. And thank God we have a, a refuge that we can come to. So, if it's laid on your heart tonight, we'll meet you back here. Thank the Lord for all his many blessings and what he's done for me. I've seen his mighty hand work the last four weeks for me. had my surgery and he's got me through and I've had the, such support with my church family and everyone. It's been so uh, great for me. Uh, we, we serve a great God. And, uh, I thank everyone that's put a put a card or something or a kind word or called me and, and means a lot to me. You don't know how much. But I, like Kevin said, we're we're his child. He cares. Like we care for our children. 
he, it's even greater on, on with him way he cares for us so just listen to this song <clears throat> this this old world is rough and hard to get things we have to deal with but we always have to remember there is someone that does care someone who cares for you when you tears in your eyes and your heart bleeds inside there is someone who cares for you someone to care others can do come down from the skies wipe those tears from your eyes you're his child and he cares for you disappointments come cares for you when you need a friend a friend to the end there is someone who's friend to you someone to care others can do He'll come down from the skies up your tears from your eyes Here's his child and he cares for you Someone to care Someone to share Profess faith and wants to follow through with baptism. This is Jessica, and we just thank God for her and her sweet little loved ones that are watching. And what a great picture, testimony. And so we're going to pray for her, and uh, we just thank God for her and their special family to our church. And she come forth this morning and just felt the need to follow through with baptism. And man, I'm telling you, it just pricked my heart because I just knew. Somebody today was coming, and, and you know, there we close out at the end, and here she comes, and just heavy on her heart. And uh, so, we're going to pray for her, dear Heavenly Father God. We just thank you today for the price that was paid on Calvary. And God, we pray for Jessica and her family, and God, you know their need. And we thank you for the price that was paid for them, and thank you, God, for grace and mercy. and Thank you for strength and courage and forgiveness and that wonderful presence we feel here tonight, the Holy Spirit. I pray that you open doors for her and I pray you use her in a mighty way to bring glory and honor to thee. And I pray for these young little girls that's watching tonight and follow through in mother's footsteps. And I just thank you, God, that we could be here tonight and agree that you're God and that you sent your son to die 
And after the third day, he rose again. And God, we're identified with that tonight. And we give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. I baptized Jessica in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Woohoo! <laughs> sweet little faces. All right. Praise the Lord. What a blessing. Who else? Huh? All right. No one? Sweet, and it'll bring tears to your eyes, doesn't it? Amen. Well, if there be no one else, no one else? Okay. If there be no one else, don't forget, July 1st at the Governor's Mansion, the Jericho March starts at 1130, okay? And so if you'd like to come and join us, feel free, all right? We're going to leave at 715 at the White Ash Free Will Baptist Church. We're going to carpool up there. So whoever wants to go, meet us there. Okay. You have something, Marcher? Forgot Alice wanted me to request prayer for Alan tonight. He was at the emergency room when we came to church. They think he's got blood clots in his feet and legs. Well, let's just say a prayer for Alan. Dear Heavenly Father, God, right now we come seeking you in a time of need for Brother Alan. And God, we know he's a prayer warrior himself. And we hey, another thing, don't forget, Brother Randy been traveling every day to St. Louis. Monday through Friday, take his sister up there for radiation treatment. And continue to remember him and his family for traveling grace and for her to endure that treatment also. That's Jane Ann. Give Randy the strength and be a caregiver to her. Yeah. Anybody else? All right. Isn't it good? Isn't God good? Aren't you glad you're going to faith-believing, prayer-warrior church. Amen. Glory to God. All right. All right, then. You got to tell somebody. Bob, tell Alice bye. All right, we'll see you. <laughs> hey. Jeff's going to sing. They ask old Lazarus. Can you explain how a man can be dead Then live again That's just insane Oh, Lazarus said, Lord I heard a voice He spoke life to me And they said, be free He called my name called my name I heard his voice he called my name I made my choice I knew that my life never be the same after he called he called my name they asked that Can you tell us about Jesus in a sycamore tree? I climbed up to see the Lord pass my way, but the Savior called out. Today I'll stay at your house. So I took him in. He forgave all my sins. Me he called my name I heard his voice He called my name I made my choice I knew that my life Never be the same After he called He called my name Oh, thank God he called He called my name He called